This is Magnified Money, and these are seven things that I can't live without. Huge thank you to Credit One Bank for sponsoring today's video, but more on that in a second. The first item is easily the most important, and that would be my laptop. I know this one sounds a bit cookie cutter, but considering this video is seven things Magnified Money can't live without, I felt it was appropriate to put it at the top of the list considering this laptop is the lifeblood of my business. I've had a ton of these computers over the years since, as many of you know, I actually used to buy and sell MacBooks in college in order to make money on the side. So right now I'm rocking this 16 inch maxed out MacBook Pro, which is definitely excessive for your average user, but considering I run a video and media based company, it kind of makes sense for me. But no matter what line of work you were in, I highly recommend that you have some kind of way to do work on the go. All right, but moving on to some more exciting things, the second item or items is a high quality watch, or as fancy people like to call it, a timepiece. Admittedly, I've gotten a little bit more into the luxury watch market recently, but I have had very affordable citizen watches for years, I've worn an Apple watch for a very long time, and I just recently made a more substantial investment into some nicer watches. But again, the amount of money that you spend on this kind of thing really doesn't matter, at least in my opinion. I'm hesitant to even use the word investment because they are still a watch at the end of the day, and I personally don't view any of these as an actual investment, but I do plan on having them for a very long time, and hopefully if they can hold up long enough, they will become some kind of family heirloom that I can pass down to my children one day. But if you're interested in watches yourself, or you've never even thought about it, I highly recommend that you give it a shot, and again, the amount of money that you spend really doesn't matter. Honestly, for me, it just adds an additional element to my very basic, boring, everyday outfits, and gives me that little extra boost of confidence, as weird as that might sound. So if you've never tried wearing a nice watch, give it a shot, even if that means just spending 50 or 100 bucks. All right, number three is another one that's gonna be pretty obvious considering I review financial products for a living, but that of course would be my wallet. Now I've tried every kind of wallet under the sun in my endless pursuit to find the perfect wallet, which at this point I'm pretty sure doesn't actually exist. But right now I'm rocking this very simple MagSafe wallet, which holds three cards and just magnets to the back of my phone, but I've also used pop-up wallets wallets like this in the past, and honestly, I still haven't found the perfect wallet, but I'm very minimalistic, so this setup works well for me. All right, I get that that's another very basic item that a lot of you probably carry yourself, but another item that I carry with me every day that many of you can probably relate to is an iPhone. And in my case, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max right now, so sorry to all of my Android lovers out there, but honestly, I've always been an iPhone user, and if it wasn't already obvious by some of the items here, I'm kind of an Apple fanboy. Obviously, I carry a phone for the same reasons that all of you carry phones, and while I'm not into social media as far as being a consumer, which is hilarious considering I make a living posting on social media, I still use this to run my business, answer emails and comments, and all of that kind of stuff. And like many of you, whether it's good or bad, I probably interact with this item more than any other item on your average day, so obviously I have it with me almost all the time. All right, number five is definitely a curveball, so I promise we're getting away from some of those cookie cutter items, but that would be this travel Pelican case. What a lot of you might not know is my wife and I love to travel. We actually took a three month honeymoon after we got married last year and have been absolutely hooked on the travel bug ever since then. And one of the best ways that you can earn credit card reward points in order to travel is by using the Wander card from Credit One Bank, who was also kind enough to sponsor today's video. Now, as I've talked about before, Credit One Bank has been booming in popularity recently with over one 1.3 million reviews on the iOS app store alone. And they have a ton of great financial products, including several credit cards. But one of their newer cards is the Wander card, which in addition to a 10,000 point bonus, when you spend just $1,000 on eligible purchases in the first 90 days of opening your account, also gives you 10X points per dollar on eligible hotel and car rental purchases made using the Credit One Bank travel partner, 5X points on eligible travel purchases like flights, hotels, hotels, gas and dining, and 1x point on all other purchases. Your Wander Card points can of course be redeemed for travel, just like my wife and I do, but you can also use them as statement credit applied directly to your account, and even used to purchase things like merchandise and gift cards. 
The Credit One app in general is incredibly sleek and easy to learn and allows you to manage all of your different accounts and credit cards right from your smartphone or smartwatch. Plus, you can track your credit score and set up custom widgets to keep an eye on your account details at a glance right from your smartphone's home screen. So if you want to check out the Wander card from Credit One Bank or any of the other awesome financial products that they have, then I will leave a link for that down in the description below. But like I was saying, as a full-time creator, it is really important that I can keep producing producing content for all of you, and as someone who values high quality content, recording on an iPhone is just not gonna cut it. So I've spent a lot of time and money figuring out how to fit a multi-cam 4K setup with clean audio into this carry-on size suitcase, and this jigsaw puzzle is the Pelican Air case, but honestly, you can do this with a lot of different products. I have this in a few different sizes, but I take this with me everywhere and have dragged it all around the world, and this is exactly how I was able to set up studio in Paris for a month, set up a studio in Madrid for a month, and in general, it allows me to keep creating high quality content no matter where I am in the world. Speaking of which, that brings me to the number six item that I can't live without, and that of course is my US passport. Nothing to expand upon too much here, but like I said, my wife and I travel a lot, and it's honestly something that we wanna do even more of in the future. So as a US citizen, it's difficult to get in and out of the country without my passport. So I take this with me almost everywhere. All right, and that brings us to the seventh and final item, which I technically wanted to be a book of some sort, but despite what you may have seen in the background of my videos for the last several years, actually not that big of a reader. But I am absolutely a lifelong learner and I am almost always listening to some kind of audiobook or podcast no matter where I am. So instead of the seventh item being one of the books behind me, I actually put my headphones on the table and I have so many different headphones that I keep everywhere so that I'm always able to be listening to something and learning and expanding on my skills. I have some of these larger over ear headphones. I have different AirPods that I keep everywhere again so I can always stay plugged in and be working on my skills and learning something. I know also a very cookie cutter item, but as someone who is obsessed with lifelong learning, I absolutely love reading or listening to new books. And with how busy I am, it's a really easy way to just throw on an audiobook or a podcast in the background while I'm doing some more simple surface level tasks. And anyone who knows me knows that I also tend to misplace things, especially tiny little items that can fit in your pocket. So like I said, I kind of keep these everywhere just so I always have a way to be plugged in and learning. So there you have it. Those are the seven items that I can't live without. And this is definitely a pared down list, but most of what you see in front of you is on me at any given time, no matter where I am. Let me know down in the comment section below what one item is that you can't live without. And again, if you want to check out the Wander card from Credit One Bank, then I will leave a link for that down in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.